<laughs> What's up guys? Welcome to Graphic Designer Pro. In this video, we'll be looking at the shape tools in Adobe Illustrator. And if you want to follow along, then you can download a free template file for this lesson from the description below. Okay, I'll pass over to our lead designer, Rory, who will show you how it works. Thanks Ross. So jumping straight into our template file, we are going to recreate these very simple designs with the use of the basic shape tools. So they can be found over on the left hand side and the first tool that you are going to see is the rectangle tool. Now if I click and hold on this rectangle tool, you will see we have a few other options to choose from which we are going to cover in just a moment. But starting with the rectangle tool, the keyboard shortcut is M. We can use it by simply clicking and dragging anywhere within our document. Now if I hold shift that's going to lock its aspect ratio to a perfect square. If I hold option or alt on a PC that's going to scale out from the middle and holding shift and option is going to scale out a perfect square from the middle. So I'm just going to drag out a perfect square. Now before I move on you'll notice we have the circles inside each corner. These are what's known as live corner widgets. So if I click and drag on one of them that's going to round off the corners of this square and that's why I'm going to skip over the next next shape tool within the list which is the rounded rectangle tool as in most cases these live corner widgets are much easier to use. So the next tool is the ellipse tool which is L on your keyboard and this works in the exact same way. Clicking and dragging we can create an ellipse. Holding shift is going to lock this to a perfect circle and again we can scale this out from the middle by holding option or alt. So again I'm just going to create a perfect circle here. Now another thing we can do with all of these shape tools is simply click once anywhere within our document. If I do that, we're going to get a pop-up box where we can actually enter precise values as to the width and height of this ellipse, for example. And we get a few more options with some of the other tools as we'll show you. So I'm just going to reposition this ellipse using my smart guides to snap the middle of the circle to align with the top edge of the square. I'm going to make it the same width and holding option or alt on a PC, I'm going to click and drag out a duplicate, align this one to the bottom of the square and center it against the right edge of the square. Now I can click and drag over all of these shapes, rotate it holding shift and we have this love heart shape. The next tool we're going to look at is the polygon tool. So I'm just going to select this. Again, clicking and dragging, we can drag out a six sided polygon or a hexagon in this example, but we can also change the number of sides to our liking. So I can do that while clicking and dragging, just tapping the up and down arrows. So the up arrow will add more sides the down arrow will remove sides until we're left with a triangle. Holding shift is going to lock this to a horizontal plane. So I'm just going to let go. I'll reposition this. Holding option, I'm going to drag out a duplicate and make this one slightly bigger. And I'm just going to click and drag over both of them and just skew these down so they're slightly shorter. And I'm just going to apply a green color to them. I'm also able to click once with the polygon tool and we can enter the sides this way as well and specify a radius. But moving on to the last tool, we have the star tool here. And yet again, I can simply click and drag to drag out this five cornered star. Now this one's slightly different in that if I hold command and move my mouse, we can actually stretch the points of this star out the way or in the way, depending on the way we move our mouse. If I hold shift, that's going to lock it to this horizontal plane. And if I hold option or alt as well, that's going to create a perfect pentagram in this case. I can also add points to a star in the same way that we added sides to the polygon with my up and down arrows. Up is going to add more points to the star and the down arrow is going to remove points again until we're left with a triangle. But in this case I'm going to add a fair few points. I'm going to hold shift and option and we are left with this shape which I'm just going to slightly reposition over here and we'll apply an orange color to it. And that's it for an overview of the basic shape tools in Adobe Illustrator. If you want to learn more about graphic design, we've created a free one hour training where you'll discover the top five secrets of successful designers, which saves you the hassle of having to figure it all out for yourself. We'll be showing you how to immerse yourself in the sector you're designing for, creative thinking and how to spark creativity, 
what good composition is and how you can achieve it in your designs, how to pick the right colors for your designs and how to pick the right typefaces for your projects. So if you are serious about leveling up your design skills, then make sure to sign up for the next free webinar. Space is limited and these events always fill up fast because they're significantly better than the information others charge you for. And ours is free. The link is in the description. You're not gonna want to miss it. I'll see you there.